hello in this video we are going to solve for x so to do that first of all you write 3 uh, to base of 2 in form of logarithm so you let log of n to base 2 be equal to uh, 3 which follows that uh, 2 power 3 is equal to n which follows that uh, n is equal to 8 so we are going to have log all this log of x squared minus 6x instead of 3 we write log of 8 to base 2 plus log plus log of 1 minus x uh, minus x as follows so this will be the result writing 3 in the form of log to base 2 we shall have this then we use the loss of logarithm which tells you that when you are adding logarithm you can factor logarithm out and you multiply the values to obtain so this is the same as log of 8 multiplied by 1 minus x everything to base 2 at this level we can cancel log to base 2 on um, both sides so that we shall now equate x squared minus 6x is equal to 8 8 minus 8x the next step is we collect the last term together so taking the terms with x on the right left hand side it will become positive then you have x squared minus 6x plus 8x at this point here we shall have x squared plus 2x then we take 8 on the left hand side so that we have 8 a quadratic equation uh, which can be factorized as follows you have x squared uh, plus 4x minus 2x minus 8 which is equal to 0 you will simply ask yourself what are two numbers which when you multiply the result is negative 8 and when you want the result is 2 so it is 4 and 2 because 4 times 2 is 8 because of this negative it will be negative 8 when you want 4x minus 2x the result will be 2 so we factor x in the first two factors so that we shall have x plus 4. Then we factor negative 2 in the last two factors. So that we have x plus 4. This is equal to 0. Then we factorize x plus 4. Which is common. Here we shall be left with the x minus 2. This is equal to 0. This implies that x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. Meaning that x is equal to negative 4 or x is equal to 2. So those are the factors of those are the values of x in the given equation. We can check to see whether our working is correct. Checking in the now, when x is equal to 2, we check you will have 2 squared minus 2 multiplied by 2 minus 8. This is plus in the, in the original equation. So here we shall have 4 plus 4 minus Eight, this will be equal to 0 meaning that this is correct when x is equal to negative 4 we substitute we shall have negative 4 u square plus 2 multiplied by negative 4 minus 8 it should give us 0 so this is 16 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 and of course this is clearly 0 is equal to 0 
meaning that in our solution x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 4 are our correct answers. Thanks so much for taking time to study with me. Uh, for more such learning, you can tune on to my YouTube channel and I request you to try this log of x squared minus 6x to base 3 is equal to 1 plus log of log of 1 minus x2 base 3. The question is you solve for the value of x. Bye bye for now. See you in the next video as we keep on learning.